I believe in a mix of collectivism and individualism. I believe we should be working towards having a balance. The group is important, but so is the individual. To me, they are of equal importance. If you do not consider the group to be important, it ignores serious problems that that group may be facing that go well beyond individual circumstances. If you do not consider the individual to be important, it ignores the serious problems that someone may be going through in individual circumstances. The left tends to attract collectivists, and the right tends to attract individualists. Tends to, it's, it's not set in stone. The Democrats are the party of us, 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 while the Republicans are the party of me, me, me. Me and my religion that I want to cram down your throat. One problem right now is that the push for collectivism is not including the majority demographic who feel left out. Another problem is that, unfortunately, a percentage of people are calling for the complete destruction of the nuclear family because it, as well as capitalism, enforces the patriarchy. There seems to be a desire by these people for our culture to completely step away from what we physically are except for fashion, to deny our biology and our instincts, to somehow craft a society that is completely disconnected from what we are, to make a fictional reference like vampires trying to craft a vampire society that denies that their true nature is to suck blood from the necks of humans. Yes, we can most certainly reroute a lot of negative things about our nature to things that aren't so negative, but that still requires accepting what our nature is. These people want to essentially throw away the models made by nature entirely, and to me that's just insanity. It's the same as how these people want to throw away capitalism completely well before it naturally falls apart, not caring about how much destruction and suffering would occur in the process, and the fact that there isn't anything to replace it yet that has been proven to work. There are very few talks about what kind of system should replace our current one, just a lot of virtue signaling and promises that are impossible to keep. I believe in a hybrid government and I mostly like the democratic socialism platform from what I've seen, it's not outright socialism. I think eventually capitalism will fail, but until then, I think we should try to make it work the best we can for everyone, and not just straight white, very rich Christian males.